to not trust in, in men, to not trust in human being, trust in the law, to not live on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge God and he will direct your path. So says the words of God. Do not trust in men. Do not trust in men. Mother, stop going to voodoo priests for help. Stop going to occult powers for help. Stop going to the mother power for children. Stop it. Stop it. People of God, stop going to voodoo priests for powers. Stop going to voodoo priests for power. Stop going to demonic power for help. Stop going to occult power for help. Stop going to fetish power for help. Stop going to man may go for help. Stop going to demonic powers for help. Stop it. God doesn't like when we despise him. God doesn't like when we turn away from him. Stop it. God doesn't like 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 it. People of God. God doesn't like it. It is a warning. God doesn't like it. Mothers are going to voodoo priests for help. Mothers are not patient. Women that are married, you are not patient for childbearingness. You go in seeking for solutions. You go in seeking for help. You go into the voodoo priests, to the occult kingdom, to principalities, to rule out the darkness of this age, to a special host of wickedness in the higher places. Stop it! Please share. Please share and invite someone. Stop it. Stop it. Trust in the law. With all your heart and lean on your own understanding. Stop it. Why are you going to evil forces? Why are you going to voodoo priests? Why are you going to demonic powers? For children. Why are you not trusting God? Why are you running to the, the evil temple? Why are you going to private prophet, the mother prophet that dealing with familiar spirit? You singing for children. Do you know the children that they are telling you say you're going to burn children? You're going to burn Satan incarnate. The mother incarnate. You're going to burn beast. You're going to burn, you're going to burn part of snake, serpent. They swear on the first year old man or man, they are not thinking straight. Their minds have been controlled by the evil world, by the ruler of the darkness. Their emotion, their conscience have been compromised. They are not thinking straight. That's why we need to stand and pray. That's why we need to pray. Children of God, we need to pray. Children of God, we need to pray. We need to pray. We need to pray. First Peter 5, 8 says, Be vigilant, be sober. For your enemy, the devil, is moving about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Let us be sober. Be attentive. Shine your spiritual eyes. Do not be blind. We may be patient. The Lord is saying be patient. If you need children, the Lord gave children to Sarah. The Lord blessed Hannah. Samuel became a prophet in Asia. Be patient. The Lord is slow, but he's very sure. The law is slow, but it's very sure. Be patient. Do not let your faith to be wayward, to be shivered. Be patient. I tell you, be patient. People, be patient. People of God, be patient. Children of God, be patient. Be patient. And put your trust in the law with all your heart. Do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge God, and He will direct your path. Be patient. Be patient. Do not trust in men. Put your trust in God. Believe in God. Do not trust in men. As for men, they will disappoint you. 
I saw men, they were drawing your allies. They are hating so much to destroy you, to overthrow you. Do not trust in men. Do not trust in men. Trust in God. They will undermine your leadership. They will undermine your governance. They will undermine your leadership. Do not trust in them. Do not put your trust in men, in God. Do not put your trust in men. Hey, hey. Do not put your trust in men. Men will disappoint you. Men will frustrate you. Men will align with also forces. Demonic forces with fetish power to destroy you, to dethrone you, to overthrow you. Do not trust in men. Do not trust in men. Men are unreliable. God is the only person that will never disappoint you. God is very reliable. God is very trustworthy. He's our covenant keeping God. Do not trust in men. Do not trust in men. Some trust in, in chariots, in horses, but we will continue to trust in the Lord. He is where our help comes from. The soul writer said, Lord, I look to you. You are where my help comes from. Do not trust in men. Only trust in God. Men will disappoint you. They will let you down big time. But God will never let you down. God will never disappoint you. Oh yes. I'm telling you. God will never disappoint you. God will never let you down. As a child or his children. He will never let us down. He will never let us down. He will never leave you nor forsake you. He will never disappoint you. He will never disappoint you. He will never disappoint you. Continue to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge the Lord. He will direct your path. Do not lean on your own understanding. When you put your trust in men, men will disappoint you. But only trust in God with all your heart. And do not lean on your own understanding. It is clear. It is clear. Do not lean on your own understanding. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Why are you trusting in fetish power? Why are you going to secret societies? Or why are you getting initiated via secret society? And you feel that God has forsaken you. Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? God do not forsake his children. He does not forsake his own. He said, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, seek my face and pray and turn from their wicked ways, then we are God here forever. We are forgive their sin. We are heed their name. Why are you turning your back from God or turning away from God and joining secret society? Why are you doing that? May the Lord deliver you and I today. May God deliver us today. Because Christ is our solid rock on which we stand. All other God is sinking sin. May God deliver us today. Whom are you trusting? Whom are you trusting? Women, I repeat again. Because you are refused to trust in God, you are refused to be patient, to wait for childbearingness or fruit of the womb, you go on to voodoo priest. You went to evil powers. To seek demonic powers. They want to give you demonic children. Those children you give birth to, they are Satan incarnate. They are demonic incarnate. That's why the children you born, they behave in such a way that you yourself, you cannot part, you cannot fathom. The children are behaving crazy or grown up man is reasoning like a child. 25 year old man is going to rape a four months old baby. Or 35 year old man is going to rape a 10 month old girl. Or raping 10 years old girl. Because you went to seek solution from the demonic power, from fetish power, from voodoo priests, from evil shrine, 
for demonic altar. That's why they gave you demonic children. You have to rededicate the children. And even they are grown up, get them to the house of God and pray over them. Get their anointing breaks every yoke. In Jesus' name. The Bible is saying, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge God and he will direct your path. Why are you wasting your time? Going to divinators? Going to sorcerers? Going to witch doctors? Bringing charms in America and Europe? They gave you some kind of oil, some kind of liquid, some kind of fetish power, some kind of demonic power, some kind of powder, some kind of cream, some kind of leaf to chew, some kind of dust to inhale or to blow. What are you wasting your time on? Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean down on your own understanding. And knowledge him in all your ways and he will direct your path. Why are you not trusting God today? Why are you so impatient? Why are you so, so eager? Why are you so desperate to get back, to get married? Why are you so desperate to get, to get into power, to leadership? Why are you so desperate to become a leader? Why are you so desperate you are not waiting on the Lord's time? Isaiah 40, 31, to also wait upon the Lord, he renewed their strength. They man up with wings as eagles. They walk and now feed. They run and not get weary. Why are you not trusting in God? Why are you so impatient? Why are you so desperate? When you are so desperate, you follow desperate people. They take you to desperate places. They take you to demonic places because you are so desperate. You get involved and you get initiated to the devil or with the devil. Why are you so desperate? Why are you not patient? It is said, patient door eat the fattest bone. Why shall it profit a man that you will give this whole world and lose your soul? According to Mark 8, 36. We've got all things are possible. Matthew 19, 26. We've got all things are possible. Luke 1, 37. We've got all things are possible. Why are you so desperate? You are losing a big time. You lack patience. Those who trust in the Lord have to be patient. Those who are called by God have to be patient. You have to endure. You have to persevere. Why are you not patient? Mothers, women, you want to get married? You go to seek solution from fetish power, from demonic power, from marine power. You go to private churches. They ring beer. They sprinkle water over you. They enchant. They deal with familiar spirit. Why are you not patient? Why are you losing out? Why are you messing out with God? So God is a gentleman because we don't want to trust in God with all our heart. We don't want to acknowledge him in all our ways, in our undertaking, our project, our, everything, our decision, whether you want to get married, whether you want to do whatever, you want to undertake any project. You are not trusting God. You turn your back on God. You are not trusting God with all your heart. You are not leaning on God with all your understanding to another shit so you can direct your path. So God is standing and sign and watching you until you can recognize that God exists. That God is the only God that you should trust. Men will disappoint you. Men will frustrate you. Men will turn their back on you. Men will back slander you. They will slander you. They will lay to all side forces to destroy you. To destroy you. To destroy you. Lean on on your own understanding. Trust in God with all your heart and all your ways. He will direct your path. Why are you not patient? Why are you not patient? Patience. Patience is what is required of us. Patience is required of us as children of God, our God's children. Patience is required of us. Why are you not patient? Why are you losing out? Why are you showering in faith? Your faith is wavering. You no longer believe that God exists. You feel that God is so slow. Hey, please wake up. Wake up from your slumber. Wake up from your dream. God is not slow to answer you. God is patient with us. That's why he allowed us to do all these dirty things, to turn our back on him, because he 
Jesus is immediately for us. He's pleading on our behalf. So do not take it for granted. Do not have a chicken. Do not take the privilege. This opportunity that God has granted us to be alive today. Do not take it for granted. Because Jesus mercy is speaking for us. He mercy is speaking for us. Oh, Hebrew 4 says this. Says, Let us come to the truth of grace with boldness. So we can obtain mercy. So that grace can abide in time of this. Oh God, let us ask for mercy. Why are you not patient? Why are you so desperate? Why are you so desperate? Heart of a chicken. Why are you so desperate? My brother, my sister, do not be desperate for anything. In everything, true prayer and supplication, make your request known to God. Put it on paper, say, God, I give it to you. Why are you not patient? Why are you so desperate? People of God, why are you not patient? Isn't it said that God said we should be patient? Patience is required as, from us as children of God. We ought to be patient. Why are you not patient? People, why are you not patient? Why are you not patient? Why are you losing our big time? Why are you not trusting in God? Why? Why are you not trusting in God? Why are you not trusting in God? You lack patience for marriage. You lack patience for childbearingness. You lack patience for leadership. You are so greedy. You don't want to work upon the Lord's time. You want to get it ever ready. You want it a microwave, microwave way. You need it to be done as soon as possible. ASAP. ASAP. Why are you not patient? Why are you not patient? Why are you not patient? You are going to voodoo priest to eliminate your brother, to sacrifice your child, to sacrifice people because you want to build church or evil altar, demonic altar. You see church as a money-making business. It's a new business in the world that is booming. You saw how other establishments are flourishing. You didn't ask questions. You feel say, oh, that's God thing. It's a money-making thing. Is it everything in Matthew 16, 18? He said, you are Peter. That are Peter. Upon this rock, I shall bear my church. And the gate of hell shall not prevail against him. Why are you not patient? If the house of God is bare upon the revelation of God, God make provision. You need not to encourage anybody. You need not to preach motivational gospel. You need not to tell people, say so hundred dollar and you get hundred dollar blessing. You need to sit down. Speak up for the truth. The righteous are born like lions. The wicked flee when no man pursue. I find the prophets on the air verse one. Why are you not patient? Why are you not patient? Why are you so, so, so losing out? Why are you losing out? Why are you not patient? Why are you not patient? People of God, patience is, is the attribute of children of God. Patience, endurance, hardship, persecution, perseverance is the attitude, is the attribute that we have to possess. It's the core values that we ought to possess. The children of God, we ought to be patient and we have to be loving. We have to have empathy. We have to have sympathy. But my question is, do you have empathy today? When you trust in God, you have to have empathy. You have to love your neighbor as yourself. I'm going to mark to tell you one. Do you love your neighbor as yourself? 1 John 4, 7 to 21 says, we have to love one another because God is love. Do you love your neighbor as yourself? When you trust in God and you lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways, he will direct your path. Then you will love your neighbor as yourself. You will share what you have with your neighbor. You will be kind. You will be generous. You will be hospitable. Hospitable. You will be so loving kindness. You will be so tender. You will be so caring. You will be so considerate. You will be so accommodative. But my question is, do you trust in God? Trust in God with all your heart and lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, heart of a chicken, in all your ways, trust in him and he will direct your path. But my question is, do you trust in God? 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 Or do you trust in your medicine? Do you trust in your fetish power? Your demonic power, you went onto the hill, you rolled in the valley, you went in the, 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 the cage, you slept in the coven, you slept in the demonic casket. 
Just because you want to acquire powers. Hey, God below us. You refuse to trust in God. You want to acquire power by all beasts. You want to acquire riches by all costs at the expense or even sacrificing your mother, your father, or your blood relation. Why are you not patient? Why are you not patient? Christians have to be patient. Christians have to direct and direct their, their trust in the law. You have to believe in God. Why are we not patient? Oh yes, we are not patient. We feel that God is so slow. Believers are no longer patient. Believers feel God is so slow. So now they go seeking for a quick solution, fast solution. Ever read a microwave solution? All the people of God around here that you see that have mega churches, mega ministry, they came from somewhere. However, they have story to tell. Ah, they have story to tell. If you want to be like them, befriend them. They will share their success stories with you. Their success has a story, has a long story. They came from, from grass to grass. They came from grass to grass. They forgo everything. And they depended on God. They trusted in God with all their heart, with all their life. And in all their ways, they know that's wrong. And God directed their path. That is why they are where they are today. They have a right because God saw them too. God led them to the shadow of valor, the valley of shadow of death. And they fear no evil. God was with them because they trusted in God. Whom do you trust in today? Whom do you trust in today? Whom do you trust in today, people of God? Do you put your, your, your trust in chariot and horses and gold or diamond or silver or jewels or precious stone or your resources? Try and trust in God. The word of God is saying trust in Him. Trust in God with all your hearts, with all it takes, everything that is within you. Trust in God with the last breath that you will even take. Trust in God. He will see you too. Remember when you plant a seed, you have to water it. You have to plant it on a fertile ground. You nurture it. You water it. It will grow slowly and gradually. It doesn't mean that it is not growing. This is why we are lost patience. Every bit of children of God has to be patient, endurance, long suffering. Every prayer request that you submit to God, God hears you. He's answering you. He's working behind the scene. When you plant the plants, or you make a garden in a backyard, you water it, you nurture it, you use fertilizer. When it is growing, you don't see it with your bare eyes or your naked eyes. God is answering your prayer, but you are not patient to see it. Oh no, you are not patient to see it. That takes you to Isaiah 43. For 17 and 18. You are not patient to see what God is doing for you. Isaiah 43. Isaiah 43, 17 and 18. He said, 17 to 19. He said, who brings forth the chariot and horse, the army and the power, and the power. They shall lie down together. They shall not rise. They are extinguished. They are quenched like a wick. But do not remember the former things. Nor consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now shall it spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and river in the des desert. God make a way in the wilderness and river in the desert when you trust in Him. Hurricane Laura, you are speaking to a Hurricane Laura. You say, Peace be still. And it shall be yours. Because those who put their trust in the law, they are the man who cannot be removed. Why a body forever? My question is, do you trust in God? 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 How about shikiri? Do you trust in God? I'm asking you children of God, people of God. Men and women of God, do you trust in God? Even pastors, do you have patience? Because of COVID-19 or lockdown, some of you have lost patience. Who did those who build upon the revelation of God? 
how patient they have on attribute they are praying behind the scene they are trusting in god for provision that mortgage will be built those bills will be built trust in god with all your heart and do not live on your own understanding because the house of god that ministry was built upon the revelation of Jesus Christ. He said in Matthew 16, 18, Say, you are Peter, die are Peter. Upon this rock, I shall build my house or my church. The gate of hell will not prevail against it. If you are a child of God, who build the ministry of God upon the revelation of God, God will make provision for you. How about Shikiri? Mark 4, 39. Jesus got up and rebuked the wind and said to the waves, Quiet and be still. Then when the wind, then the wind died down and it was completely calm. Peace be still. Wake up. Stand up on your altar, your praying altar, and rebuke Hurricane Laura. Say, Peace be still. Use my phone and tell now. Peace be still. There is power of voice. Children of God have power. All those are going through those experiments. Stand up and declare according to the word of God. Peace be still. Because you trust in the Lord with all your understanding. Yes. You trust in the Lord. You are not leaning on your own understanding. In all your ways you are nourishing and he is directing your path. King James Bible say, And he, er he arose. And rebuke the wind and say unto the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. Every wind that is going around, every tsunami, every earthquake, every Laura, every Isaiah, every Maria, who said, Whatever Katrina, whatever Sandy, whatever you call it, you can speak to it. Peace be still. Every wind in your life is a metaphoric. Simple symbolism. Every demonic wind in your life, in your personal life, speak to it. Say, peace be still. You have no place in my life. Peace be still. I have power in the toilet to decree a thing and it shall be established and life will shine my way. Peace be still. Every inflation in my life, peace be still. Because God has given me power in the toilet to decree a thing and it shall be established. I shall trouble over serpent and scorpion and all the power of the enemy and nothing but enemy shall harm me. Peace be still. New King James Version. Then he arose and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased and there was a great calm. I'm going to read a Christian standard Bible. He got and rebuked the wind and he said to the sea, Silence and be still. Silence, peace, quiet. You see that? Peace be still. Contemporary English version said, Jesus got up and ordered the wind and the waves to be quiet. The wind stopped and everything was calm. Every wind that is blowing in your life, every contrary wind, every demonic wind, speak to yourself, be, be still. Yet they say, say silent, be still. Say quiet, be quiet. Say I silence you. By the blood of Jesus, every demonic word that is speaking against you, every controlling word, every evil voice that is speaking from the COVID, say, be, be still, because I order you to be silent, to be quiet. Because you trust in God, you can order anything. When you put your trust in God, you, when you have faith and belief, when you speak to any mountain, you have faith like a mustard seed, you shall, you shall speak to any situation in your life. They will go and fall into the ocean. Because you trust in God. You shall say, peace be still. Peace be still. Peace be still. This is the confidence we have in approaching God. That if we ask anything to his will, he hears us. And if, he, and if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have what we ask for. John 5, John 5, 15. 5 John 5, 14 and 15. So every storm, raging storm, every tsunami, every demonic wind that is going around, read my 439. Say, peace be still. Peace be still. Say, peace be still. When you are a child of God, God expects you to be very brave and bold. Stand up and speak the truth. Do not compromise. When you trust in God, 
You do not compromise the truth. You do not sugarcoat. You do not cover up for any demonic behavior, for any abominable life, for any immoralities. When people are in immoralities, you are a servant of God. For the most high, they have been called by God to lead the sheep. You are the shepherd. You will not compromise. You will stand up and stick to the truth. And you will lead the word of God. You will use the word of God effectively, efficiently for the sole purpose. You will speak and rebuke anyone that is not doing those things that God expects us to do. You will say, peace be still. Because you trust in the Lord with all your heart. And you are not leaning on your own understanding. But in all your ways, you are acknowledging God. Peace be still. May the Lord help us all. May the Lord deliver us. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon us. Women, please be patient. Even men, be patient. You need job. People, be patient. You need documents. USCIS is slow. Everyone knows what is going on. Be patient, trust in God. With all your heart. And lean on your own understanding. You'll be surprised and shocked. To know how God will bring the how DHL or FedEx or whatever source USPS will deliver your mail or card to you that you don't even apply for. You will say God will miraculously work it out for you. All things work for good to them who trust in the Lord and who are called according to a purpose according to Romans eight twenty eight. Jeremiah 29, 11. God said they thought I think to was you, thought of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Some translations say to give you the hope and a future. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean out on your own understanding. Then you will speak to any situation. You will say, peace be still. Any voice that is contrary to, to your life that is speaking evil, you will say, peace, be still, be quiet. Because you have power and authority to decree a thing and it shall be established in life will shine your way. And come to Job 22, 28. Say, be, be, stop. Oh, yes. You have power and authority. Why are you taking for granted the power that God has blessed you with? Speak the word. There is power in the words. There is power in the tongue. Use it for the purpose intended. Speak to every given situation that is working against God's children. Say, peace be still. Leave people that go alone. Stop backstabbing people. Stop scandaling people. Stop character assassinating people. Peace be still. Be quiet. When you trust in God with all your heart, God reveals things to you. He reveals everything, He plan and purpose. He reveals to redeem. He will reveal stuff to, the, to His children, to believers. Who trust in him with all their hearts? And they are not leaning on their own understanding. But in all their ways, they acknowledge God and God direct their path. So, you will speak to every situation. Hurricane, tsunami, earthquake, disaster, fire in California. You will say, peace be still. So says the word of God. I command you to be quiet and stop catching fire and stop causing disaster. Peace be still. Peace be still. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean on your own understanding. Peace be still. To also dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall rest under the shadow of the Almighty. They will say of the Lord, He is our refuge, our fortress, our God in Him we trust. When you trust in God, it's so good to not put your trust in men. Psalm 62, 7 to 8. Say, My salvation and honor depend on God. He is my mighty rock, my refuge. Trust in him at all times. You people, pull out your heart to him. For God is our refuge. What is the problem that is bothering you? Is it barrenness? Is it marriage? Is it document? Is it because of online education? You are not used to technology. You are not used to the 21st century. You are used to the old school way of learning. You want to go to school. You want to go to college. You sit in a class for a lecturer. To lecture you to have interaction, personal interaction, human interaction with him. He said, What you worry about? Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. It is not because of your cleverness. It's only God being God. God able to do a seed in it, a band on it, about all we ever think and ask of through the power that works in us, according to Ephesians 3 and 20. To him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we think in eyes of, according to the power that works in us, or through us. Ephesians 6 and 20. God is able to do everything. Matthew 
1926, we have got all things are possible. No 137, we have got all things are possible. Why are you not patient enough to wait on God? Time? Why are you not patient enough to know that God is able to do what no man can do? Why are you not patient? Why are you not patient? Do you want to become a leader? Do you want to run for office? Trust in the law. Trust in God with all your heart. And do not lean on all your own understanding. That is what believers, we ought to pray for people in leadership, people in government. Prophet 21 verse 1 says, The heart of the kids is in the hands of the Lord as the rivers of water. He can stretch it, stretch it, direct it, whichever way he wants or he wishes. We need to pray for people of God. People who have God fearing to become our leaders, to be elected, to be governors, police commissioner, superintendent. Ha! Huh? To be certain, to be mayors, to be president, minister, prime ministers, kings and queens. We ought to pray to God as believers. The power is given us through the word of God. When we pray, something happens. We ought to pray with our sissy. If there is a man to pray, if there is a woman to pray, God answer us and come to look at him for someone. What are you waiting for? Wherever you pray, God answer you. Because the Lord said, trust in him with all your heart and lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will derail your path. Stop putting your trust in, in fetish power. In familiar spirit, you dreamt someone gave you a chalk or demolished something, you pour it, you put it in your mouth, then you enchant, you divinate, you incantate all the time, you operating from power from the sun, from the moon, from the stars, from the wind, from the soil, from the trees, from the ocean, from the rivers. How dare you? How dare you turn your back on God? Those who put their trust in the law, they are the Messiah that cannot be removed. But they abide forever. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so God surrounds her people. According to Psalm 125. Why are you not trusting God? The song writer said, we will, look up, we will lift our, up our eyes up to the hill. For where is coming our help? For our help coming from the Lord, who made the heaven and the earth. He will not call, suffer your foot to be removed. The Lord is your keeper. Upon the right hand. Why are you not trusting in God today? I will leave all my eyes onto the hills for where come my help. My help coming from the Lord. The Lord who made the heaven and the life. Harabashi. He will not allow your foot to be removed. Harabashi. There he who gives you never slumber nor sleep, Lord. Behold, he who gives you never slumber nor sleep, Lord. The law is your keeper, Lord. The law is your shield upon the rock. The sun shall not spot you by day, neither the moon by night. My help, all of my help, coming from the law. Is your help coming from the law today? Are you lifting your eyes up to the hills when we come and your help? Because those who trust in the law with all their heart, they look up to the hills. They lift all their eyes to the hill from where come in their help. They are not going to Fulu Priest. They don't go to San Goma. They don't go to Baba Lawa. They don't go to Mama Hawa. They don't go to Siriki. They don't go to Mali. They don't go to Baba. They don't go to Ezimo. They trust in the Lord with all their hearts. They are not leaning on their own understanding. All of us, she can't have a to be that. Are you trusting in God today? Are you trusting in God today? Lean on your own, not steady, Lord. Trust in the law. In all your ways, Lord. You will derail your path. Hard of a shikere. We may be patient. Be patient in everything. Do not be misled to go look for a quick solution. Do not go to fetish power principality. Do not join any fraternity. Do not be initiated into any demonic group. For all is vanity. Everything that is sinful nature, turn your back on it. Run away from it. Change for services. Submit yourself to God and resist the devil and he will flee from you. Efficient for 27 says, Do not give in to the devil. What are you waiting for? Hard of a shikere. Hard of a shikere. Lord, we give you glory, Lord. When you have power, you trust in God with all your heart. You shall decree a thing and shall be established and life will shine your ways. Hard of a shikere. You will not fear, no evil, Lord. If God is on our side, what can man do to us? 
And when those are one eighteen verses, you will not fear no evil. Thank you, Lord. You will not fear no evil, Lord. You will not fear no evil. Those who trust in the Lord, the man Zion, that cannot be removed by a body for him. You will not fear no evil, Lord. The God will heal you, the Lord will deliver you. The Lord will deliver you, Lord. Jeremiah 1 19 say, say they will rise up against you, but they will not prevail against you. But the law is with you to deliver you this morning. How do I say? The law is with you to deliver you. Malachi 4, verse 2 say, but, you, but to you who fear my name, the son of rationality shall arise with hidden in his wings, and you shall go out and go far like a stuff cast. How do I say? Why are you not trusting in God today? Trust in the law before you had a lean on your own understanding, Lord. How do I shake it? Lord, one son, one for the one for the said the wicked flee when no man pursue. He said the wicked will flee and fall into their own pain while we escape safely. Proverbs 28, 21, 18 said the wicked shall be the ransom for the righteous. Proverbs 28, verse 1. The wicked flee when no man pursue, but the righteous are bold as lion. Why are you waiting for today? We pray today for divine escape in our lives. We pray today for divine turn around. We pray today we reverse every cause that been spoken against anyone. We reverse every evil word that been spoken against anyone. We reverse it. We reverse it. We reverse it. We reverse it. We divert it. We cancel it. We terminate it. We cancel it. We terminate it. We blow it out. We explode it by the blood of Jesus. You shall escape safely. The Lord shall grant you divine escape. Those who trust in law, in the law, the law will grant a divine escape. Like he did in the day of day or David. How do I say? The law shall grant you divine escape. Like he did in the time of David. The law shall grant you divine escape. The law shall grant you divine escape. How do I shake it? The law shall grant you divine escape. In the name of Jesus. The law shall grant you divine escape. How do I shake it? The law shall grant you divine escape. The law shall grant you divine escape. Do not be afraid. Do not be dismayed. The Lord shall grant you divine escape. And so shall it be. First Samuel 19, 18 says, So David fled and escaped and went to Samuel at Ramah and told him all that Saul had done to him. And he and Samuel went and stayed in knelt. The Lord shall grant you divine escape today. The Lord shall favor you. The Lord shall cause a face to shine on you. What are you afraid of? The enemy will not escape. Anyone that rises up against you, they will not escape. They will not escape. The Lord will arrest them. The Lord will grant you divine escape, but they will not escape. And so shall it be. Lord, help your people. Deliver them, heal them. So I want to know say we will look up to the hills. We will lift our eyes onto the hill for welcome our help. Some translation, some version says, we will look up to the hills for welcoming our help. Lord, we thank you. You are our sorcerer, you are our deliverer. Father, you protect your children. You heal them. You rescue them. Lord, help us. Deliver us. You are our strong, mighty man of war, mighty man in battle. You are the great I am, I am. You are the ancient of days, the mighty man in battle. The lion of the tribe of Judah. The one who said, let there be a dear was. Thank you, Lord. You deliver us from our strong enemy. How about you? Exodus 15, let me say. Who is like unto thee, O Lord? And most the God, who is like thee? You are glorious in holiness. Glorious in holiness. Fearful in praises. Doing wonders. Who is like unto thee? Exodus 15, 11. Who is like unto thee? I will bless the Lord at all time, and the prayer shall continue to be in my mouth. I will make my boast in the house of the Lord. Psalm 34, verse 1. How do I shake it? Lord, who is like unto thee? You are glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders. Lord, you do wonders all the time. You do wonders all the time. Those who trust in you, they are never be put to shame. Lord, you do wonders all the time. You are the God that did it with us from our strong enemy. You are the God. That cause your face to shine upon us. How do I shake it? How do I shake it? You are the God that delivered us from our strong enemies. Oh God, we thank you, Lord. We thank you. Jesus, we bless your name, oh God. We honor you today. We exalt you, oh God. 
Harabashige. We exalt it. We exalt it, Jesus. We exalt it. Psalm 46 verse 1 says, God is our refuge and, our, and, and strength, a very present help in trouble. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Psalm 91 verse 1 says, He who dwell in the sacred place, the secret place, the sacred place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Lord, we thank you for this day. Thank you for your divine cover. Thank, thank you for your divine escape. Thank you for your divine protection. Thank you for your grace. Heart of a secret. Thank you, O oh God. We worship you. We honor you. We bless your name, O oh God. My sister, 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 if you believe in Jesus and baptized, you will be safe. But if you do not believe in Jesus and be baptized, you will be condemned. We don't want that to be any one portion today. The Lord is calling you. He said, come to me, all you who are labor and heavy lady and I'll give you rest. Matthew 28. How about she can? Come to the Lord. Ye who are labor and heavy lady, you will give you 28 verse 11. Father, we'll take you this morning. Robert 10 verse 9 say that if we confess with our mouth, how about she can? If we confess with your mouth, the Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the death, you will be safe. You will be safe. For with the heart, one believes unto rationality, and with the mouth, confession is made unto Harabashiki, unto salvation. Father, we thank you today. We give you glory and honor. Father, we bless your name. We honor you. We worship you in the beauty of the holiness. Thank you, Lord. We thank you today. There is no one that unto thee. Tile wo mi yolo, tile wo mi yolo, tile wo mi for my enemies, tile wo mi, tile wo mi for my enemies, tile wo mi yolo, tile wo mi yolo, tile wo mi yolo, tile wo mi for my enemy. Lord, we thank you. We glorify your name. We acknowledge you. Thank you for coming this storm. My foot and now say peace be still. Oh Lord, peace be still. Jesus come and stop and say, Be quiet, be silent, peace be still. May every situation that is raging as a storm in your life today that will come here by the word of God we will speak to you. We say, Peace be still because we are trusting in God or we have trusted in God with all our hearts. We are not leaning on our own understanding. In all our ways, we acknowledge God and he will direct our path. May the Lord bless us all. May he cause a face to shine on you. May he deliver you from your son enemy. May he avenge you and subdue your enemy under your foot. According to Psalm 18 verse 47. May he deliver you from your son enemy. According to Psalm 18 verse 17. Lord, we thank you. We cover our lives with the blood of Jesus. May you meet your people at the point of their needs. Father, those who trust in you, Father, you make provision for them. According to Philippians 4 and verse 19, the Lord shall provide for us according to his riches in glory. Christ in us, the hope of glory. We can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. Heart of us, that we may know you and the power of your restoration. According to Philippians 3 and verse 10, Christ in us, the hope of glory. Colossians 1 27, we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. According to Philippians 4 and Verse 19. Philippian, if he's out of a chicken, if he says 11, we will put on the whole armor of God that we will be able to stand against the evil days of the enemy. If he says that we do not rise on against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against rulers of the darkness of the age, against special hosts of wickedness in the higher places. I repeat, we do not rise up against flesh and blood, but we rise up against principalities, against ruler of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the higher places. For the weapon of our welfare, according to 2 Corinthians 3, 10 and verse 3 to 4, though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk in the flesh. The weapon of our welfare, the weapons of our warfare are not kind of, they are mighty. True God to the pulling that every strong. Lord, may your weapon speak to us that we'll be able to pull down every stronghold. And according to Luke 10 and verse 19, we will, you gave him all power and authority to trample our serpent and scorpion, and nothing but enemies shall harm us. Father, we thank you. We glorify your name. Father, we worship you in the beauty of your enemies. Harabashike, we put our trust in you today. Lion of Judah, we put our trust in you. I am, I am Lord, we put our trust in you. The one and only God, 
We put our trust in you. Thank you, Lord. We put our trust in you. Peace be still to every situation that is pointing your children. Peace be still to every mountain, to every raging storm. Peace be still. Lord, peace be still. Thank you, Lord. We put in our trust in you today because you said, Peace be still. Lord, today we're us for our strong enemy. Peace. You are asking us to speak to the storm. Peace be still. Thank you, Lord. Peace be still. Thank you, Jesus. Peace be still. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to sing a song. For there we're close. My choice is in you. Patient of this. My choice in me. And I am Lord. My choice is in you. Ladies of your body, our choice is in you. There is here. Oh no, come back to the sun. I put it on you. It's in you. I put it on you. you. My choice is in you. I put it on you, Lord. Our choice is in you. I put it on you, Lord. My choice is in you. My choice is in you, Lord. My choice is in you. Oh, It's good to praise God. It's good to worship the Lord in the beauty of His holiness. Choice is in you. Our choice is in God. Oh, working God. My choice is in Our miracle working God. The King of glory. My choice is in you. Oh, brother, brother, Baba, choice is in you. Our choice is in God. Oh, I put it on in you. My choice is in you, Lord. I put it on in you. My choice is in you. I put it on in you. My choice is in you. I put it on in you. My choice is in you. Do you put your choice in God? Come here, see you. My choice is in you. I put it on you, Lord. Those who put their trust in the Lord are my Zion. We put our trust in the Lord. How do I shake it? I put it on you. My choice is in you. I put it on in you, Lord. My choice is in you. God is more than enough. That's why we put our trust in Him because He's more than enough. Thank you, Lord. Is God more than enough to you? Put your trust in the Lord because He's more than enough. I give you praise. Lamb of God. What is the land? Oh, I've been to take a team. I've been to try us. Nobody thought I would come up from. But God stood me tall in the midst of them all. I'm a living testimony. You don't want 
Dr. Lizzie Suleiman of Omega Fire Ministry of Nigeria. I will not copy right to the song. Begin the end here. My praise. I go to the church. Do I more enough? Laughter in my mouth. You alone, I can. I can't in any way. Do I know more enough? Do I know more enough? You alone. You deserve my praise. I come and change my world. You don't find money enough. Laughter in my mouth. You are not go. You are not go. I can't in any way. Just to say how much I love you, Lord. How much I love you, Jesus. I gone in any way. Jesus, I love you, my Savior, my demon. I put my trust in you, Lord. I just to tell you how much I love you, Lord. I gone in any way. You put a new song in my mouth, Lord. You put a new song in the mouth of your people, Lord. There's no one else like you, Lord. I gone in any way. You are too far more than enough. Jesus, you don't want to make it too long. Begin the end, the end. You alone, I got. I'm going to my work. You don't want more than enough. You put laughter in my mouth. You alone, I go, no. You don't want to make it too low. The beginning and the end. You deserve my praise, low. I go to change my world. You don't find more than enough. Laughter in my mouth. You alone are go low. My praise. My praise. My praise. You deserve my praise. How do I shake it? My praise. Oh, my praise, Lord. My praise. You deserve my praise. My praise. How do I shake it? My praise. My soul to me, Lord. My praise. You deserve my praise. My praise. My shikarara, my praise. Haraba shikere. Let us praise the Lord. Lamb of God. What is the name? Oh. I bid you take a team. I bid you try your slow. Nobody to I will come up from. But God to me to. You know how God has to you to in the midst of everyone. You are the living testimony, Lord. You don't want to make it to. You bring all my strength to fight. You gave me victory in the midst of my adversity. Why not make it to? Oh, it's not making make it yeah. That is why you are done. Jesus, I can't in any way. You are done one not make it too low. The beginning and the end. You deserve my praise. I gonna change my one. You don't find more than enough. Laughter in my mouth. You deserve my God. I got in there no way. You don't want to make it too low. Begin the end, the end. You deserve my praise. You deserve my praise, Lord. I go and check my work. You are don't want to make it too. You put laughter in my mouth. You are not a go, Lord. Just to tell you how much I love you, Lord. Hey, I love you, Lord, with all my heart. I trust in you with all my heart, Lord. I love you, Jesus. How much I love you, Lord. I'm going to genuinely. 
You don't have money enough. Jesus, I can't in there no way. You don't want to make it do. The beginning and the end. You deserve my praise. I'm going to change my world. You don't have money enough. Laughter in my mouth. You alone I got.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Spirit. They said then, meet them all at the points of their knees. Speak to the wind. Echo the mic for telling now. Be, be still. Be quiet. Be silent. Every storm, every raging storm in your life, every hurricane, every tsunami in your life. First, they call it emotionally, psychologically. The Lord is saying, put your trust in Him. Put your trust in God with all your heart. And do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge God, and He will direct your path. The Lord is spirit, according to John 4 24. All true worshiper, she worship Him, must worship Him in spirit and in truth. Lord, I call this place for the blood of Jesus. I expel, I expel every contrary wind, every bargaining, every reproach, every rejection, every limitation, every poverty, every bargainness, every self low esteem. I cancel it. I abort it. I terminate it. I abort. I frustrate the agenda. I revise. I divide divert every plan of the enemy against your people's life. And so shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Love you all with the love of God. Me below.